Hi everyone, what's up? It's Josh from Alternative Brewing and we're taking a look at the most recent addition to the Tiamo Cold Drip Tower range. This is the elegant looking Tiamo HG6329 Small Cold Dripper. This is a smaller take on Tiamo's best cold drip towers and it's that perfect size for sitting on your kitchen counter or as a centerpiece to the dinner table. Now it's used to make delicious cold drip coffee that's free of bitterness and sweeter to drink. But cold drippers can also be used to make cold drip tea with similar results. The Tiamo Small Dripper is made from bamboo and heat treated glass and there's really only three main components to it. Up top, we've got the water vessel with a lid on it and it has a capacity of 600 milliliters and attached to this is the tap. That's a drip controller that you turn to open the valve for it to slowly brew. This sits on a housing above a stainless steel filter basket and this filter basket will hold upwards of 80 grams of coffee in it. And below this, there's the serving carafe and that will slowly fill up with your cold drip coffee. This all sits on a sturdy base. Now it's a very easy process to begin making cold drip coffee and all you need is cool filtered water and coffee ground to a medium coarseness and that's a little finer than sugar crystals and you want to brew with a ratio of around one part coffee to ten parts water. In getting started using the Tiamo cold dripper first measure out and grind your beans. Place your grinds in the stainless steel filter and add a paper filter on top of this. Now there are 100 paper filters included with this dripper and the paper filter will act as a dispersion to the drips so you don't get splashes of grounds up the sides of your filter basket and it will evenly disperse the water across the coffee bed to avoid any channeling. Next place the filter into its housing and on top of the carafe. Place your water vessel on top of this, making sure that your dripper is closed before you start filling that top tank with water. And you can add ice as part of your water mix to keep the water cooler for longer. And I would suggest adding your ice first just to get those volumes right. Once that's all done though, you're ready to slowly begin opening the tap on the dripper to begin your brewing. And you're aiming for a drip rate to be just under a drip a second. To check this, you can simply time one minute and count how many drips there was. So it's best to begin with a little fast than a little slower drip rate, as the drip rate will slightly slow over time. And you can always check back in a few minutes or hours to see how this is going. And if using the dripper, if you find the water backs up and overflows over the top of the filter basket, then coarsen your grind setting up and then slow your drip rate. And if the opposite happens, where it's finished in under three hours or your brew is too weak, Fine up your grind and slow your drip rate down if you can. But as a general rule, the longer the overall brew time, the stronger the coffee will be. After three to five hours, as a minimum, you can have yourselves a good strong cold drip brew. You can keep this in the fridge for up to two weeks and enjoy it over ice, dilute it down with water, or add your favorite milk for a delicious ice latte. I keep some in the fridge all year round and I find a convenient and tasty way to get my coffee fix. And in cleaning the unit, all you want to do is make sure you rinse it all underwater after every use and place it back together once it's all dried. But that's the Tiamo Small Cold Dripper HG6329 for you. Ideal for anyone who doesn't have a lot of bench space, but still looking for a really beautiful cold drip tower. And you can check out the extensive range of Tiamo's cold drippers on our website. I'll throw a link below in the description. And don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe so you can get notifications when we're bringing out videos just like this one every week. Until then, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.